My beloved child, in this moment, I invite you to release your worries, fears, and uncertainties. Breathe out deeply, allowing my Holy Spirit to fill you anew. Trust in me, for I am increasing your ability to believe in the plans I have for you. Though your faith may feel small, I am nurturing its growth. You will find it easier to trust in the words I speak to you, whether through quiet moments in prayer, my written word, or the voices of my prophets. Consider the story of Elijah, a man with a nature much like your own. He experienced the full range of human emotions, happiness, anger, and even depression. Yet, his prayers remained powerful and effective. When he prayed, the rain ceased for three and a half years. When he prayed again, the heavens opened and the earth flourished. There may be times when doubt creeps in and you feel like giving up. In those moments, I ask you to persevere and take just one more step in obedience. Trust that I will bring about what I have promised. Right now, I am telling you to look up and see the small cloud, no bigger than a man's hand. It may seem insignificant, but I urge you to pray. Even when you feel your prayers are weak or ineffective, know that I have stored every single one in remembrance. So pray, shout, and dance, regardless of how you feel. As you do, I will move in and through you, accomplishing what only I can do. Ignore the voices of negativity and darkness, for I am your God, and my glory rises upon you for all to see. This journey is about expanding my kingdom. I have great plans for you, plans to prosper you and give you hope. Amen. Lift your head and look to the future, for I am bringing your dreams to life. But first, I desire for you to draw near to me. Find a quiet place in nature and commune with me. As you humble yourself and listen for my voice, I will speak to you. Remember, in this world, you will face troubles and trials, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. I have stripped away its power to cause lasting harm. I have given you my peace, not as the world gives, but as a precious gift. Receive it and be encouraged. The key to finding peace in a dark world is to align your thoughts with my spirit. Focus on what is good, pure, admirable, and praiseworthy. There is no law against such things, for they are the fruit of my spirit within you. I have called you out of darkness and chosen you to declare my glory. This means that I will answer your prayers and work on your behalf. Look back at how I have been faithful in the past and trust that I will do even greater things in the present and future. The enemy may try to steal the seed of truth I have planted in your heart, attempting to diminish the greatness of what I have done for you. But I urge you to look past these lies and defeat the schemes of the enemy. I am giving you eyes to see the sunrise and sunset, both in the spiritual and physical realms. I am declaring my glory and will display it through signs, wonders, and miracles, just as I did in the days of my prophets. This is an even greater time, and I will use you to release unprecedented measures of my glory. Like waves crashing over the earth, people will come alive and be set free as they encounter the goodness that leads them to repentance. Just as I delivered you, I will deliver others as they call upon my name and work with me. The blessings I have for you are closer than you think, but remember, you must pray and praise me in this season. Do not let the circumstances around you dictate your response to me. Trust in my love and my plans for you, and watch as I move mightily on your behalf. 
My beloved, as you continue to walk with me, remember the story of Job. He faced unimaginable trials and sufferings, yet he remained faithful to me. Even when he couldn't understand why he was going through such hardships, he chose to trust in my goodness and sovereignty. In the same way, there may be times in your life when you face difficulties that seem overwhelming. You may feel like you're being tested beyond your limits, and you may question why I'm allowing these things to happen. But just like Job, I want you to hold fast to your faith in me. Remember that I'm always in control, even when life feels chaotic and unpredictable. I am working behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail of your life for my purposes and your ultimate good. Trust that I have a plan, even when you can't see it. In the midst of your trials, don't be afraid to cry out to me. Pour out your heart before me and be honest about your fears, doubts, and struggles. I am a God who understands and empathizes with your pain. I will never condemn you for your honesty, but will instead meet you with my compassion and grace. As you seek me in your hardships, I will give you the strength and resilience you need to persevere. Just as I sustained Job through his trials, I will sustain you through yours. Lean on me and let me be your source of hope and courage. And when the enemy comes to accuse you or fill your mind with lies, stand firm in the truth of who you are in me. Remind yourself of my promises and the victories I've already won for you. Put on the full armor of God and use the weapons of prayer and praise to fight back against the enemy's attacks. Remember that your trials are temporary, but my love for you is eternal. I will never abandon you or leave you to face your struggles alone. I am with you always, holding you close to my heart and guiding you with my spirit. So, don't lose heart, my child. Keep pressing forward, even when the path is difficult. Keep seeking my face, even when you feel like hiding. And keep trusting in my love, even when the world around you seems dark. I am the God who sees you, knows you, and loves you unconditionally. I am the God who has a purpose and a plan for your life, and who will bring it to completion. I am the God who will never fail you or forsake you. So my dear child, trust in me, for I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. My beloved child, I want you to know that even though the path ahead may seem obscured and the light feels dim, keep pressing forward toward the destiny I have prepared for you. I've been orchestrating each step, guiding you through transitions to lead you exactly where I need you to be. Just walk with me one more day, trusting that this road will soon open up to a place of joy and fulfillment where you can accomplish great things in my name. Because of your deep connection with me, your heart overflows with my presence. You will speak my truth and love with boldness. Amen. If you feel like giving up on a situation that appears hopeless, I encourage you to persevere just a little longer. Pray one more heartfelt prayer, believing that I am working on your behalf behind the scenes. I am sending my consuming fire to break through obstacles, dispatching angels to carry out my purposes, and releasing blessings into your life that will bring you peace and contentment. Pay close attention to the words I am speaking to you in this season. Meditate on them. Let them take root deep within you, for they will sustain you in the days ahead. Stand firm in the face of challenges and pressure, knowing that I will never allow you to be overwhelmed or consumed by them. I have a message for you today, a call to rise up once more. What have you got to lose by believing again? 
take a step of faith and watch as I make your crooked path straight. When you entrust your plans to me, no matter how daunting or uncertain they may seem, I will cause them to succeed. Remember, I have declared that you are the head and not the tail, destined to rise above and not be crushed beneath the weight of adversity. You will be a blessing to many, with ample provision to share generously. As you persevere in doing good, you will surely see the harvest of your faithfulness. You have endured well, my child, and I am pleased with you. Yes, you who are hearing these words right now, my power is being released on your behalf, my fire falling to consume every hindrance in your path. A new doorway is opening before you, a road being prepared for you to walk upon. As you make way for me to move in your life, commit yourself to my purposes. Labor in advancing my kingdom, serving with a humble heart. Show kindness to others, even those who may frustrate or offend you. Demonstrate to the world the depth of my love through your unwavering devotion. As you align your desires with my will, you will see the fulfillment of your dreams and prayers. Just take one more step, trust me for one more day, and watch as I show up in your life in extraordinary ways. You are a part of my body, each one of you uniquely gifted and called to a specific purpose. I know you have sought me diligently, asking time and again, what is my purpose? What should I do next? Your next step is to rise up in triumph and trust that I am the one who will promote and position you. No human authority or earthly connection can elevate you to your true calling. That is my role alone. I am declaring this shift, this divine alignment through my chosen messengers. Just as I promised, your mission is to identify and embrace your unique giftings. What comes naturally to you? What brings you joy and fulfillment? What ignites a passion within you? These are the clues to your purpose. As you explore these questions, you will uncover your true calling. Your gifts and abilities are tools equipped to help you fulfill your purpose in this season. Focus on discovering the plans I have laid out for you since before the foundation of the world. I set you in this specific time and place, declaring that now is the moment for you to step into your destiny. Even if you don't see the full picture yet or feel like you're at the forefront, trust that I am creating opportunities for you that no one can shut down. My blessings will enrich your life without the baggage of regret or sorrow. Though you may face trials, hardships, and pain, know that after you have endured for a while, I, the source of all hope, will come and strengthen, support, and establish you. Don't rely solely on your own understanding or be swayed by what your physical senses perceive. In my kingdom, Things often appear contrary to the world's values and expectations. Amidst the noise, busyness, and brokenness around you, I invite you to step away with me into a place of quiet intimacy. Meet with me in the stillness, picturing yourself walking by my side in the private spaces of your heart and mind. It is there in that secret place of connection with me that you will find the strength, wisdom, and peace you need to navigate the path ahead. My dear child, I want you to know that I am always with you in every moment of your life. When you find yourself in nature, whether it's the serenity of the beach or the majesty of the mountains, that's where you can feel my presence most strongly. I am pouring my love and my spirit into you, awakening your soul to the incredible potential that lies within. 